Normally a female child is born with three separate openings at her bottom for vagina, urethra and rectum. However, if there is any problem in the development of the child, her urethra may join with the vagina and this condition is called common urogenital sinus. And if all the three systems including urethra, vagina and rectum are joined with each other, this is called cloacal malformation. I think these patients with a cloacal malformation and ambiguous genitalia are really a special group of the patients. These patients need a very good pre-operative planning and mapping because during surgery each and every millimeter of the tissue is important for the reconstruction. For this pre-operative planning, we first of all examine the child under anesthesia and then we perform a cystoscopy. During cystoscopy, we insert a camera through the opening and see the internal structures. And then on the very next day, we usually perform the 3D cloacogram or sinogram. And this really helps us to see the internal structures in a 3D way. This study requires a multidisciplinary team approach involving an interventional radiologist, a team of surgeons, anesthesia people, and a trained support staff. Keeping in view the complex nature of anomaly, we need to have a comprehensive plan before execution to achieve the near perfect results. The 3D reconstructed sinogram or cloacogram in some patients give us the base to build our plan for the surgery. It helps us to answer a lot of important questions like what surgical technique will be applied, what will be the surgical approach, do uh, we need to open the tummy of the child or not, what will be the expected duration of stay of the child and what are the specific preoperative preparations we have to make before going into the surgery. All of these questions are really necessary to be answered because this is not a kind of surgery where anybody can go unprepared. This is the reason that these surgeries are performed in really highly specialized centers. This 3D cloacogram has shown its superiority over conventional methods and it is really more accurate than other methods. These complicated patients require a highly specialized team which must be working in collaboration with each other. Luckily, at our center, we have all the required specialists, including pediatric surgeons, pediatric urologists, anesthetists, psychologists, radiologists, and nutritionists. We are the first ones in Pakistan who started performing this study with the aim of providing standardized healthcare to our patients.